Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in a previous video we showed you how to customize Contact Form 7 with custom CSS and turn it into something sort of standard looking like the one on the right and something more interesting like the one on the left here. And we wrote our own code for that. Pretty easy to do. But if you don't want to write code, we're using a plugin called Divi Supreme Modules today. And it's got a great little module in there that allows you to style your contact form with no coding. And for those of you that are wondering why you'd actually add contact form 7 to Divi because it's got its own contact form, it's purely for the file upload button as the standard Divi form doesn't include one. OK, so let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. OK, and I'm going to go down to the dashboard. I'm going to presume that you've got a form, you've built your form already. If I go to the dashboard, down to contact forms. Here are our contact forms. Here's the one I've created today. It's called Form 1. So if we go back to our page, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to delete this particular module. Now Divi Supreme Pro is a premium plugin but it comes with over 50 new Divi modules and four extensions, which takes Divi to a whole new level. So I'm going to hit the plus. For all the light ray ones you see here, the ones you get a standard with Divi, plenty to build just about any site. But here are the ones with the blue backgrounds you get when you add Divi Supreme Pro, and there are some wonderful additions here. But I want the contact form seven, so if I roll back up here, there it is, Supreme Contact Form 7. It's going to ask you to select your form. So I want Form 1, the form I showed you just now. And there it is. Even before we started styling, it's, start, it's given it a bit of a custom style. I just save that. I delete this module. And I add a standard Divi code module, which is the way you would normally add a contact form 7. And add the short code for that form there. That's the sort of form that you'd start off with. Pretty generic looking. Even in this, with its generic standard, it looks better than the, the default there. So let's go back into our Supreme and I'll show you how to style it. If you want to, just down below, you can flip the little switch and sh say show error and validation messages if you want to edit those. And if we look down below, it's going to show us our error and validation me messages. If you leave that on, it just means you can choose and style these while, while you can see them, which is a great feature. Don't want to link this to anything. Don't want to give it a background. I'm going to go straight over to design. First thing you're going to see is your labels. These are right here. So you can give them a little bit more spacing on the bottom if you want to. As normal, Divi comes with a huge selection of fonts. Just click on here. You can roll through to audition one. Just roll over it and it'll give you an example of what that font is. I'm going to leave mine just as they are. And it's got the usual sort of things you get with text. Font weight, regular, light, semi-bold, depending on what font that you've chosen. Italicize, uppercase, lowercase, combinations, underline, line through. I think I'll leave mine just as they were. And of course you can align them middle and right if you need to. I'm going to leave mine all on the left there and I'm going to leave them just as they were. Obviously you've got text color, labels, text size, letter spacing and line height. Again, I'm going to leave mine just like that. For the inputs, text areas, and the select, so click, click on that one. You can choose whatever background color you want. And it'll do your fields for you. Just undo that. Control Z to undo. And again, you've got text options for the input. For any text that's put in any of these fields here. Same ones as above. Plenty to choose from. Now if you want to, you can give the fields rounded corners. 
a small pixel value just put in the number it'll put in the px for you we'll give it slightly rounded corners obviously a big number is going to give it very rounded corners i'm going to leave mine at five picks there and again we were doing all this manually with css in the last video if you want to you can give it a board around and you can do all at once top right bottom or left i'm going to give it a couple pixels on the top and let's make that blue in color perhaps there we go great type solid now we can give it a box shadow if we want to on the bottom just lift it off the page give it a little three-dimensional look there you can change your shadows and things here i'm going to leave mine just as it is we're not using placeholder text have a look at the other video if you want to know how to turn these into placeholders you just take the labels away and you add them as placeholders inside in the form now we've not got radio and checkboxes for this today again there's not a whole lot we can do to our file upload button but they have provided a couple of things here you can give it extra padding top and bottom if you want to so 25 pixels maybe as you can see it pushes it down if i hit the chain it'll push the button down you can give it a background color if you want but that's going to stretch the whole of the column there i'm happy to not have that okay and again you've got some great font options here now we've got error messages down below or error messages here i should say you can give them a background color if you want to and then change the font color so you can see it and again you've got all the various font options you do with most of the fonts there and i won't go through these other two they're exactly the same you can change all that on there the only other thing i really want to do is perhaps customize the button a little bit there so let's go to the bottom here there's a validation and validation success there's the error there's a success if you want to customize those you can do so in there so let's go into the button and it's the usual divi button thing you've got alignment hit the little box if you want to customize it i'm going to make the text white let's give it a blue background perhaps the button itself i'm going to take any border away i'm going to give it the same border radius as our fields up here which was five pixels and again you've got all the font options with the button also let's add a send icon perhaps and let's have it showing all of the time i'll make that icon white and to show it all of the time we just turn this button to off and there it is right there don't want any text shadow if you give button margin it'll push it down further or left and right if you give it padding it'll make it fatter or larger let's give it a bit extra on left and right perhaps let's give it 50 pixels and the same to the right there we go and if you want to you can give it a different hover color we give it a box shadow lift it off the page like the forms there and just to set up a different background hover color go up to button background again common to most divi modules if you hover over the dark legending You'll see some icons appear go to the thing you want to affect in our case it's our background color here hit the little arrow and you can set a desktop state which is what you're looking at now and a hover state which is when i put my mouse on it so when we hover on it i'm going to just change that background color there we go okay well we've customized just about everything we can customize in our little form there let's save our changes and have a look on the front end Save the page changes, save draft or publish, and let's exit the visual builder. And there we go, there's our little form there. And rather than write custom CSS as we did before, there's a way of doing it without using the great Divi Supreme modules. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.